Hey guys, welcome to another fun episode of Dude, I Love My Ride, and today we've got one of our favorite vehicles, actually favorite trucks, I think ever, behind us, and it is the brand new 2017 Ram Power Wagon. I'm here with uh, David George, the happy owner. Yeah, uh, it's great to be in here. Yeah, and by the way guys, this is a new series we're doing, but uh, we actually want to do another series, the flip side of this coin, which is uh, Dude, I Hate My Ride, so if you guys want to feature your vehicle on Dude I Love My Ride or Dude I Hate My Ride, our new series. Uh, let's say you've got a problem with it and it's just been miserable and you can't stand it either truck or car. Send us an email at TFL. Actually, let's do go to ask at tfltruck.com. Ask at tfltruck.com if you want your ride featured. But let's get to the ride of the day. So 2017 Power Wagon, but it's not stock. You did something that I think every Power Wagon owner should do, and that is you changed the exhaust note. Oh, yeah. The... The stock muffler was just way too quiet. Yeah, hell yeah. So I bought a muffler delete, and uh, it just sounds so awesome, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it, it sounds like a heavy should. And before the end of this video, we're going to go start that truck up and let you guys listen to it. But one of the things that we love to do in this series is basically ask owners why they bought it and their experience with ownership. Now, you've had this for three months, which isn't a lot. Yeah. But you had one before. Yeah, I had a 2013 before, and I had it oh, probably two and a half years all right, so let's start with the obvious question. Why a power wagon? It's supremely capable, and I really wanted a Jeep Wrangler, but I liked the usefulness and the size of this. I got a bed. I can tow stuff. And you're from Texas. Yeah. <laughs> a truck <laughs> country. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got a bed, and it, it'll, it'll pretty much go wherever, you know. It's gone well, almost everywhere I've pointed it. Yeah. This one's a stock height so far, but. And uh, why not, let's say, a Raptor? That's They're really expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. <laughs> but how much was this guy? Oh, after discounts and everything, about 53. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, that's all right. And for that, of course, you get a monster engine, you get all the off-road goodies, not just yeah. the good tires, but it's the only vehicle actually sold in America that comes with the stock winch. And I think it's, uh, is it 15,000 pounds? It's some huge amount. Uh, Chrysler rates it at 12,000 12, pounds. 12,000 pound winch, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so you get a 12,000 pound winch, uh, you get a locking rear diff, you get locking disconnectable sway bars. Yeah. You get all the goodies that you would get in a Wrangler. Plus, you get all that utility of a bed. Yeah. I can haul all kinds of stuff in there. You know, clean out my garage. Do all the, the things that you know truck needs to do. So, what's your favorite part of the truck? It's off-road capability. Yeah. You just came back from Moab, you said? Mm -hmm. Last how, weekend. How was it in Moab? Hot. Oh, that means the <laughs> truck. I know it's always hot in Moab. <laughs> um, no, I did great. Uh, yeah. I came from... The last truck had a four-link front suspension, yep. and so I scraped the radius arms a lot on places I wouldn't normally have touched. But other than that, it's uh, it's pretty nice. Um, let me ask you this question. One of the things that we really want to get at with this series is reliability. And we don't do reliability testing because we don't get the trucks for long enough. So you've had one now for three years, right, mm -hmm. basically? How has it been in terms of reliability? Nothing broke that I didn't cause to be broken okay so uh so no one expected like you know all of a sudden though there's a engine check engine light or no something stops working it just all worked it all worked uh i had a programmer on there and it messed with my navigation took that off and it was, it was fine. fine but that's it I've never had a problem with them uh so far i haven't had any problems with this actually when i bought it one of the front tires had sidewall separation but they fixed that so they fixed under warranty yeah Okay, uh, and um, you said none of the problems were like the trucks, but they were things that you did. So what'd you do to them? <laughs> what'd you break on it? Oh, just, uh, I'd replace the front track bar, control arms, shocks, uh, the front end. I guess I had to get the, uh, the pinion seal changed. Uh, I guess the little vent cap on the axle froze up and it sucked in some water, so. Well, what's cool is you're actually taking it and doing like the kind of off-roading that, that, that it's meant to be. Because a lot of people buy these partially because, let's say you're in Michigan or you're in New York, right? There's no place to go off-road. I guess in Michigan you can go to Upper Peninsula. <laughs> but let's say you're in New York, there's not a lot of off-roading. But here in Colorado, there's a lot of off-roading. And we're, of course, next to one of the greatest states of all, Utah, for off-roading. So you get to go do that. Yeah. Um, do you ever feel like it's too big? I know Nathan and I uh, had the chance to take it up a uh, wipeout hill which is this, you know, <laughs> this crazy hill in Moab where you look and all you see is blue sky, yeah. right? Do you ever feel like you know, you, you've got the, the right tool but perhaps the wrong job? Mm. No, uh, 
Yeah, it's just narrow enough. You asked me you know, why I didn't get a Raptor. Right. Uh, I was in California a while back, and I got to drive through the, the tour through tree. Oh, okay. And it barely fit with the mirrors folded in. Uh, so, wouldn't be able to do little things like that with a Raptor, I guess. No, no. I mean, the Raptor is <laughs> obviously as wide as a heavy duty truck. It sticks yeah. out. And I'm not sure that one's much narrower. It might be. I don't know. Andre might know that. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It Actually, is, it's seven inches. It's seven inches narrower. There you go. Andre's wow. here. So, it's seven inches narrow. So, it is a, it is a lot narrower. Um, the other thing, of course, about it is that a Raptor now is a twin turbo six cylinder, whereas here you get prop American <laughs> a V8, yeah. right? And, and a Hemi at that. Yeah. Uh, Do you feel like there's enough power, especially up here at altitude? Yeah, I don't really tow or haul anything. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I got the toolbox full of stuff, but going up the mountains, uh, you just set the cruise control and let it do its thing. And speaking of kind of long drives, have you checked your fuel economy? What are you getting? Uh, on that trip back from Moab, I took the long way down south up. Uh, like the Four Corners area, that way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. a little bit north of there. But uh, Durango, maybe that way? No, not that far south. Never. Like uh, towards Montrose. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, sure. And then uh, by the time I got back to Denver, uh, the average on the truck was up to 17.4. Wow. Yeah. Wow, our Raptor, uh, which is the previous generation, that's not highway. That's, in general, it's getting 14.1. So... This is 17 on the highway, but still, for a big, big-ass truck, man. Yeah. And why'd you go with the red? Uh, I really wanted a white. Yeah. But they had sold it. <laughs> and that was the brightest color on the lot. Uh, you know, you're like the third guy who's been in here. He's wanted a different color and ended up getting what they had on the lot. You know, it wasn't black. Yeah. My, my last truck was black, and when I bought it, there was only two of them yeah. for sale, used, that I could find. And so I got the lower mileage one. All right, well, you did, some, you did some kind of upgrades to it. You had some changes. So, Nathan, why don't you come on in, and Andre, you guys walk, let's walk around. I'll get, grab the camera, and you guys kind of stick together so I can get you all one shot here. Go for it, boys. All right, uh, Andre. Uh, that is the first thing I noticed. Um, now, this is a light bar that it looks like it's bolted into the bumper. Mm -hmm. It goes behind the tow hooks. Uh -huh. uh, mounts through very solidly. Where'd you get it? I mean, is there a special it's a, place for the It's bar a Randy itself? Ellis Designs bar, and it's really strong. I mean, I stood on it. How about the, how about the light itself? Oh, that's a Rough Country 30-inch LED bar. I so I've know. noticed you're missing the underplate here, <laughs> yeah. and you also took off the uh, kind of the plate for the winch as yeah, well. Yeah, I noticed that too. And, and is that when you installed it and you just decided not to put it back, or...? Oh, no, the winch is factory. No, I mean, no, no, I mean oh, the, oh. the bumper. Oh! No, the bumper's all factory. I haven't so, done anything to it. Uh, I ripped the valence off accidentally uh, on a rock. Got some nice yeah, I've done that. scrapage there. Uh, other than that, I just changed out the hook to the the flat link from Factor 55 there. Yeah, have you used the winch yet? I, I like how it fits. I haven't needed to. I like how it fits exactly there. Yeah, yeah it fits pretty cool. good. Well, I opened it up with a, a pry bar. It didn't fit, actually. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> it's proper fit. Yeah. Proper fit. Now it fits right. Yeah, it fits now. All right. So you're running 31s or well, 30, 33s, 33s from the from the factory. Yeah. The factory. Um, They're a little loud. Side steps, man. They're loud, yeah. Yeah. These, this is not uh, stock. This no. is not an option. So can you talk about the side steps here, which are also sliders? Well, they're a knockoff of a company called White Knuckle, and I got these from a gentleman out of Crested Butte, and they bolted on, and they're. Extremely hefty and strong. They're probably 125 pounds each. Now they're proper. They go on the frame, right? Mm -hmm. They bolt off. to the frame. Yeah. In like five I, five places. And they're, you already used them. I mean, yeah. You bashed it a little. Yeah. What was that right here where you you just the other day came really close to a rock and it hit? Got this, but it saved the bottom of your truck. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, as I was backing down Wipeout Hill. Ah. Backing yeah. Down Wipeout. Okay. Because <laughs> with these on there, I've lost some ground clearance, uh -huh, and this one doesn't uh, have as big of tires as my last one, so uh -huh. it so couldn't do it. The story with White Dot Hill and Roman and I, we just started working together, you know, and um, I went down there, I was having a great time, but Roman wanted to film it, he wasn't really all that interested in really, you know, going up it. And the guys, I was terrified of it. He was terrified of it. I, I was just terrified of White Bot Hill, and I yeah. saw this huge hill, and I'm like, hey, Nathan, I think it's your turn to drive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, me, I'm like, oh, okay, and I go charging down and charging up it, but they actually got Roman to drive up no, it No, no, well. no, so you go down it, right? Yeah. And then I look around, right, and I'm like, uh, I think this is a box canyon. How oh, yeah, that? yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> and I'm like, it's your turn, Roman. I'm like, oh. Yeah, there's no way out. It's just, you have to go back the way you came. Talk about, you said you have a, a custom... Uh, 
um, a skid bar on the bottom. Is that right? Yeah, yeah I've got a. Yeah, let's 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 go underneath. Go underneath, Andre. Go get him, Andre. Go get him, Andre. Go get him, Andre. Woo! I've got an aftermarket engine oil pan and transpan skid plate made by a friend of mine. Right there. And uh, so far, I haven't had to use it. I just put it on yesterday, actually. So it bolts basically to the frame and like where the engine is mounting, or yeah. It, uh, it mounts up there by the engine mounts and then up underneath on the frame. So it should be pretty tough. And here you can also see the exhaust system. So basically it's a muffler delete. And we'll hear that soon, right? Yeah. Um, so what other options do we have? I mean, how did you configure your truck? Well, I just, it was what was on the dealership lot. They had a bunch of tradesmen's, which were the, 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 the entry. The lower, the yeah. And I, I honestly originally gone to look up there at one of those, but so you got like you know the nicer interior, right? Yeah. And I didn't want to give up the heated seats, so yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is basically the brother of the one we had. Same color, same. It looks like the same package. I don't think we had the sunroof. He has a sunroof. Jim. We had the uh, Ram boxes, and he doesn't. Oh, right. Really so right. let's look at the box you put on here. Yeah, you yeah. put those toolbox, which is kind of cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's nice pretty thing. lightweight. It's I like the fact that it's black, too. It matches the truck, right? A lot of these, yeah. a lot of these are silver. So the black, yeah, I hate the silver ones. Yeah, the black really goes well <laughs> with the silver. Well, do us a favor. Start this bad boy up. Oh, right. yeah, we need to hear it. Questions. Yeah, we'll get to them. We'll get to the questions. In a sec. Let's hear it. Okay, let me open the door Leave before we uh, struggle here. Seat, yeah. Before we choke on you. All right, so this is the one thing we all agreed the power wagon needed, and he did it. Yeah, all he did was a... <laughs> doesn't Ram do this right from the factory? This thing would, it just, it's already got a lot of attitude, right? It's got everything you need except for an industrial sound out of the regular exhaust system. And, and how much did that cost? What did you do to get that Oh, sound? it was under 200 bucks shipped. Yeah. Uh, what, what, company what? called Mufflex. It's, Mufflex. Just, it's just a muffler, uh, basically. That's it. Yeah, it's a muffler delete. They make one with like a, so a really nice magna flow in there. It's even closer to the end of the truck. Wow. Yeah. Wow. All right, well, let's get to some questions. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Let's get to some questions. Here, let's sit down again. Why don't you guys uh, have a seat? Tommy will ask the questions. Yeah. All right, Tommy, what are the questions, dude? Um, we've got a lot of comments uh, about the new skid plate. Mm -hmm. people, people really like the way it looks. Um, if there was one thing you wish Chrysler had changed from the factory. Bigger tires. It needs bigger tires. Yeah, how big could you go on there uh, without actually lifting it or doing any kind of... 35s easily. Yeah. Uh, I guess the the BFG KO2s they run a little small. Yeah. You can actually fit a 37 on here. Really, and without oh. it actually so, any any like lifting, any no. additional suspension well, no. travel. 36 and a half. And so. Of course, that begs the question: Do you plan <laughs> to lift it anymore? Yes. Yeah. How that's high do you want to go? How high? Uh, it lifts the front about an inch and a half. Okay. And then that's enough to clear 37s. Okay. Might eventually go to. They're really expensive. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Did you look into a ZR2? No, it's too small. Too small. Um, no ZR2, too small. <laughs> no mid-size trucks. I, have, uh, yes, go I had a Frontier before and it was really good, you know. Yeah. But yeah, the upright seating position in the back just terribly uncomfortable. How about a Tundra TRD Pro? I looked at them actually. They're really nice. Uh, they're comfortable and quiet, but uh, I really like having the locking differentials. Yeah, that's. A, I mean, it's really the most off-road worthy truck when it comes to rock crawling. And Andre, we owe this man a hat. Can you get us some, some hats so we can uh, Potentially let him choose which hat he which hat he wants. Keep yeah, going, sure. Tommy. Does he yeah. plan on adding more to the truck? What what do you plan on doing next to it? Ooh, that's a tough one. I guess I'm saving up, waiting. I'm gonna get the suspension and then just do the suspension and the 35s all at once. So the 35s aren't gonna be cheaper. Right? Those gonna be 250 a pop. That's a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, plus a spare if you get a spare. And how much is the suspension? Who does the suspension? Uh, it's a company. I'm probably gonna go with a company called Thurin. Okay. And. You know, since I don't haul or tow anything, it, it really softens the spring rates up. Yeah. It makes it ride a lot better. Yeah. But So you're going to lose some potential hauling yeah. capability, but you're going to gain a lot more off-road ability. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions, Tommy? A very specific question. <laughs> Will a gator fit in the bed? 
I'm sure. I've seen some small gators. Yeah, you know, like the Polaris uh, one. Oh, that kind of gator. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the, the, <laughs> yeah. So an alligator will definitely fit in the bed. <laughs> and a Polaris, the one person Polaris will probably fit in the bed. The two people one are well, probably too big. You could the, probably the get razors. one of the small razors yeah, in the bed. Yeah, Not yeah. with the toolbox. Yeah, not with the toolbox. You'd have, to, you'd have to probably remove the toolbox. How many miles will it go in a tank full? Ooh, that varies. If I'm driving around in town, 3.30. Okay. Uh, on the highway. On the highway. 450 plus. Yeah, it's got a big tank. You know, yeah, I think it's like 36. 32 gallons. 32 gallons. Okay, 32. So it's pretty, pretty hefty tank. Yeah. Here comes Andre. Here comes Andre <laughs> with our hats. It's like I got a, a hat selection. This is going to be interesting. As a, as a thank you, we have a hat selection that we get on each program, so we'll let you choose. Here's a, a Nissan hat. Here's a Firestone hat. Here's a John Deere hat. It's also a helmet. Here's a TF. <laughs> here's a TFL hat. And here's a, a ram, but this is not ram ram, this is ram uh, clutches. So which of these? Uh, I'll take that interesting hard hat one there. Do you want the John Deere? Yeah, All right. sweet. There you go. That's, ah. that's Can a, you show that to the camera? Yeah. And no, inside. Oh, also. oh. It's like a hard hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a hard hat that is also a John Deere hat. We got on a recent uh, trip where I got to drive probably the world's, well, a 40-ton pickup, 40-ton dump truck. I saw that. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. Well, guys, uh, as always, we really appreciate the fact that you watch. And if you want to feature your ride on TFL uh, truck or car, send us an email to ask at tfltruck.com. Remember, we're going to try a new series. Dude, I hate my ride. So if you really have a miserable ride that you want to show off and you can't stand, We'll love to feature it. Uh, and David, I really appreciate the fact that, that you came out uh, and showed off your uh, power. I know Nathan is already steal the keys and he's going <laughs> to... <laughs> when you're not looking. <laughs> <laughs> he's already taken them and he's already... <laughs> if that truck wasn't behind us, it'd be gone. All right, guys. Thanks for watching and see you guys next time. Ciao.